Legislative leaders say they're trying to get back to work. A late night collapse last week sent everyone home, even though there is a lot of important work left unfinished. Today we're told they're working on ways to get people back on the job, but there's no agreement yet. New Center's Don Carrigan has more from the State House. This week, the State House should still be a beehive. Instead, it was almost an echo chamber. The president of the Senate said that needs to change. Unfinished, unsettled issues that, uh, that we've got to deal with. The Republican leader of the House predicted they will do just that. And we're going to come back and finish the work up that needs to get done. The Democratic Speaker of the House would not predict. It's hard for me to say right now, Don. I feel like we're in unprecedented territory. Last week, House Republicans refused to extend the session for five more days to get the work done. That led to a round of accusations and name calling. Now the Speaker and Senate President are trying to find a way to put it behind them. There is a lot at stake here for Maine people. More than 100 bills already passed by the legislature, some of the major ones that are waiting for money. And then some other important issues that are still undecided that will affect people all across the state of Maine. Issues like opioid addiction, including more than six and a half million dollars for treatment for the uninsured. Money for county jails, funded in the first year of the state budget, but not the second. Continued pay raises for direct care workers for the elderly and disabled, also left out of the second year of the budget. And bigger issues like matching Maine's income taxes to the new federal tax code a key for Republicans. This affects every family and it affects every small business and big business. We'd be talking about a $250 million generally tax increase on folks if we don't conform. And the Democrats' big issue, finding money to get Medicaid expansion started. Gideon says it's a way to meet the governor's demands. He says he will not implement Medicaid expansion unless that money is appropriated. So we say, we can't look into your department. We don't know what's happening there. You say you need $3.8 million, here it is. We'll give it to you. But given the strained relationships in the House, can the Senate president somehow play peacemaker? Politics isn't about winning. Politics is supposed to be about finding uh, solutions to our state's problem. And there are other issues dividing the parties as well. Thibodeau said he would be meeting with the governor's office and the speaker, hoping to at least get everyone back and talking together. In Augusta, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine.